Russian salad with a borscht gazpacho shot. Wouldn't know what's in that, no clue, but fully looking forward to it. The starter, oh God, no, I won't be able to eat that. Back at the dacha. Pickled cucumbers, gherkins, you can call it whatever you like. Um, but yeah, normally you need to use the bigger ones. And a wrench. <laughs> ah. That's got it. The pesky pickles are diced and added to carrots and spring onions. Then it's on to peeling eggs and potatoes. Probably best they're getting chopped up as well. It all gets mixed into the salad, along with herbs and some shop-bought mayo. Then it's off to chill until later. I think that if you cook, like, authentic food to where you're from, people can't really slam it. So it's a bit of a tactic, really. Cynic. Next to prep, the borscht gazpacho. It's going to be cold. It has to be cold, yeah, because it's a gazpacho. So it's going to go set in the fridge, nice and cold, quick shot, and uh, off we go. Because you're serving a soup cold, it's, it's got to be really flavourful, otherwise it's just gross, isn't it? I hope this shot of gazpacho isn't beetroot, because I would hate that. Bad news, Mel. Actually, all the juice has gone. Tansy drains the unwelcome beetroot before adding a delightful-looking carrot and onion paste. She finishes it off by adding vegetable stock and a squeeze of lemon juice before giving it a blitz. Oh, sorry. Well, trying to. That's better. Final addition is that classic Soviet staple vodka. Nazdrovye. How's it tasting, Tatsy? Krasna. Oh, actually, it's a bit too much vodka in it. Good luck! Don't put your spoon back in! Oh, Oof, that was close. Sorry. The gazpacho will be served cold later. Take three in Stroud, where Belarusian bopper Tatsy... Nastarovye! ...is hoping to secure a grand with her Soviet-inspired shindig in this spectacular space. My night's in the way now. I best crack on. Rock and roll! Woohoo! The fridge is behind you, Tatsy. How's that salad smelling? Oh, this is the winning starter. I'm telling you that. Confident! She spoons her Soviet salad, pours the purple gazpacho, and here it is, Russian salad with a borscht gazpacho shot. Ooh, and a bonus blini. Ready to go, guys. Ashley. So hopefully you're going to enjoy, and yeah, let's take in. It's gazpacho, I've got to be honest, I really didn't like it because I don't really like beetroot juice. I'm really impressed, Tatsy. How are you? It's a treat to experience some cuisine that I've never tried before. I don't get why it was Russian because I'm sure I've had that 25 times before. It was just mayonnaise wrapped around a bunch of vegetables with a bit of egg in there. The Russian salad to me was just about chopping a load of things up and popping it in a bowl. Um, the only thing that you could have made was the mayonnaise. Did you make the mayonnaise yourself? No, I didn't. Oh. It's a homemade, but it's not made by me. <laughs> ah, that old Belarusian chestnut. Look. Oh, my goodness. And I'm really fussy. Would you like some more? Yes, please. OK. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I absolutely love the Russian salad, and Tats is going to send me the recipe, and I would definitely make it at home. Even though it's not from a packet? Is it common to have Russian dolls as table decorations? Um, Probably potentially every single person or every single household would have a set of Russian dolls in their house. Tatsy needs credit for bringing her culture to us and getting us to try some different and new foods. Speaking of which... What's the most exotic food that you've, that you've ever tried? I went travelling and I ate a couple bugs. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. What kind of bugs? I ate spider. I know I'm vegetarian, but I just decided it was a cultural thing that I should just do. So what, how, how were they cooked? Literally just grilled on the barbecue. What, like On fried? the side of the street, yeah. Grilled. Yeah, and you um, take each leg off one by one. How did it taste? Uh, just like crunchy and burnt, really, yeah. Like, it wasn't no worth taste. the life killed for it. I would never in a million years eat a spider or a scorpion, ever. Yeah, I feel like everyone was a little bit surprised about the fact that I'd eaten a spider before, but obviously they just think that I don't do anything ever. Overall, I think my status went really well. Couldn't go better and everyone loved it. So yeah, hopefully high scores all around. Hang on, you've still got two courses to go, including that risky cabbage. 